so ready for the next match because that was over so quickly. Not surprisingly, the players aren't ready yet to come out on court for this match here. The uh, women's doubles, third round. Miliana Johari and Gracia Polly of Indonesia, the number eight seeds, taking on the world number 20, but the 16 seeds here, Shinta Muliasari and Yao Lei. So, as I say, the player's not out, but uh, quite natural, really, Morton, because, as I say, I don't think they're expecting that match for Sina Newa to be over as quickly as 19 minutes. No, no, definitely not. Um, so they, they need a few minutes uh, to get ready and get in on court. But obviously they've been warming up for at least the last 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, everyone likes to be on TV. I noticed uh, you were talking about how you always got a good reception in the days when Wembley was hosting yes. the All England Championships. I've uh, been having a little wander around. There are a lot of Danes around there. They are. There's a pocket full of them over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's he's true. the loud one there, right in the centre. <laughs> that, that's the guy, yes. yeah. That's yeah, that's it. Yeah. He's got no voice left after this week. <laughs> we do, yeah. Come Sunday night, <laughs> if the Danes progress, it, yeah. it'll be very hoarse. Yes. But yeah, no, there are a lot of Danish fans actually in the auditorium as well. Yeah, they, um, this is a fantastic tradition, or used to be in uh, you know, olden days. Um, one week in London, watching the All England and, you know, shopping at uh, Oxford Street and all the rest of it. So, uh, yes, it's a great tradition and, and a lot of uh, badminton clubs were using the All England as, uh, as a present to a lot of the players. So, uh, a lot of Dan Danish players came over here to play. Well, the players now are on their way out. Just to quickly update you on that match with the defending champion in the men's singles. It's gone to three sets, Chen Jin after losing the first set to AJ Jayaram, as we see the players coming out onto court, but it's 4-2 in the deciding, I make that 4-3 now in the deciding set to the Indian player, so I'll keep you up to date on that. And if you go one court further, Juliana Schenk is playing uh, another one of the Chinese favourites in the ladies' singles, and uh, Schenk is 7-2 up in the third. Wow, well, so uh, some great matches going on. Yeah. A little closer than the one we saw just now with uh, Saina Newa. But what can we expect then from this women's doubles match? Because we've got, you know, the number 16 seeds from Singapore, but I think that seeding is a, a little deceptive where they're concerned because they are capable of some great big performances as they showed, particularly last year. And, you know, they're playing the uh, Indonesians here, Gracie Apolli and Miliani Johari, who are a pretty new partnership. Yeah, <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, the Indonesian pair is uh, impressing me. Really I've seen them on, on uh, a few occasions, and um, wrong to say, it doesn't look at much. Uh, it does, obviously, but it's very effective what they do. They're yeah. solid. They're very solid. Are you? Me, Polly. Polly receive. What do you want to say? Ah, this is it. So the uh, preliminaries are out of the way. As I say, this should be a pretty good matchup. I want to think I'll stick my neck out and say it'd be closer than the last women's singles game we had on court. <laughs> That's not sticking your neck out. <laughs> oh, it was English sarcasm. More. I know, I know, I know, and I love it. So here is the uh, pair from Indonesia, Gracia Polly and Miliana Johari, as you can see, uh, up to uh, eighth in the world rankings, number eight seeds as well. Only formed their partnership last year, so this is their first world championship together. Been a lot of changing with the Indonesian pairings. Three semi-finals this year. Reached the quarter-finals of the All England. Three times beaten finalists in 2010. So they're yet to win as a pair. But, as I say, they have made some big progress in many events. As I say, the uh, Indonesian pair yet to win an event. The uh, Singaporean twosome of Yao Lei and Sara Shintamulia, well, won four titles in 2010, became the first players from the Republic of Singapore to win the Singapore Open in 20 years. Made huge headlines back home for doing that. But you can see this year they've been kind of up and down. I mean, they've had a few problems off the court. Shinta uh, unfortunately had her mother pass away in May. And obviously that distracted them for a, a short while. I'm sure they're not going to make those excuses for themselves. But 
It would only be normal if that was the case. As we say, down to 20 in the world. Now they have been as high as eight. Yep. I think we have a long match in front of us. Well, normally, more today you've been in the <laughs> commentary box. It's only I've been long matches. I would say I have none uh, less than an hour today, I think. Well, I can so um, it's testing my English <laughs> big time. Hakim Foster of Sweden <laughs> is our umpire. I used to play him. It is. Badminton. Did you? <laughs> yeah. No doubt. You, well, you, I was going to say no doubt you won, but then yeah. you did, uh, you did was, win most matches was, you played. Yeah, he was one of uh, Sweden's best um, junior men's doubles players at the time in the 70s, you know, long time ago. <laughs> Colour TV in those days? I think it was, yeah, just about. So, are we uh, set for a bit more tension that we had earlier on in the day? Peter Gader coming through in three sets against Simon Santoso. The upsets with Adcock and Bankier. Winning in the mixed doubles against Akeda and Shiota. Of course, Conrad Patterson and Rasmussen of Denmark. Looking at Chandra and Gunawan in the men's doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, on our right, Lee Yao and Sheena Muya Sari of Singapore. On my left, Miliana Yohari and Gracia Polly of Indonesia. They are out to serve to Gracia Polly. Come on! Play. Serves over. One love. It's over, one all. saying it was too high yeah. of the waist. Oh, that's good, that's clever play. Most players would go cross court so like a flat shot three, cross court. Two. But she chose to block his straight, which I think was really clever of Yao. That one, normally they're going cross-court. And Yahari was actually covering the other one. Good play. Oh, they left it to each other there. There's a, a lack of Three, communication. I, I said they're a fairly new partnership. But... Uh, a disappointing point from their perspective. Uh, but it happens though, so. Serves over, four, three. Out. Serves over, four, all. Six, four. 
shots wide. I think the, one of the previous shots was heading wide as well. But Seven, fact, yeah, that's four. my feeling too. But um, the Singaporean pair really have to watch out to, to go into f too many flat exchanges because uh, that's where the Indonesians are really, really strong. If they, if they want to win the Singaporeans, I think they have to be prepared to play long rallies and, and really play a solid defense. Serves over, five, seven. Over. Nine, seven. going yet to really just have any uh, distinction over where it's going. No, as you would say over here, it's very even, Stephen. Isn't that what you say? <laughs> Close, even, Stephen. <laughs> even, Stephen. We have a plural. <laughs> okay. Your English one. No, 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 no. You know, it's good to learn. Ten, I'm seven. happy. Two hundred and three there from Gracia Poli. One of the uh, fastest of the week in the women's. So it's over. Yeah. As I say, we can prepare for a long match here. Um, but, but somehow, again, I, I know we don't want to stick our necks out too much, but uh, I have this sneaky feeling that the Indonesian pair is better. Yeah, this like 10, 20 percent better, and they will win it eventually. But let's see how it goes. situation of the flat eight. exchange and Polly is strong enough to drive it past uh, yeah with the net Very good pace. Good 
the two rally. Attacking oh. from the Indonesian bear on this occasion doesn't come off. Yes, Sari can't be happy with that one. But uh, very good rally. the mistake into the net. Plenty of power out there. Oh, that's a winner, yes. Good follow up. Well placed. One side of the body. Very hard to defend. Lots of nerves being taken. And I think Eng Hyang, actually a, a former Indonesian top doubles player is the coach on the Singaporean side and he's also making his notes. So it's over 14-11. Looks like Polly reading that well at the net. Step forward. There for the kill. You can hear, and here we've got Engan sitting in the blue to the right. So it's over 15 12. Two of the defending champion in the men's singles has come through in a comeback over AJ Jaira. 21 11 in the third set. Well, you have to say it's quite impressive. He won 21 12, 21 11 the last two sets. But not a bad maiden world championships either for the Indian boy. That was uh, 16, a nice 12. one as well from Ludiana Johari. Comfortably came through this. Indonesian pair on Tuesday against the Turkish teenagers of Yigit Kilic, who were outside the top 100 in the world ranking, so it wasn't too much of a test for the Indonesian pair a couple of days ago in their first match. That's a good lift, that's very good defence. Imagine now to, to lift that one all the way to the baseline, that's really well played. Solid attack by Polly here. And they've just put their foot on the accelerator, haven't they? They have. They have a little bit more power. That extra 10, 20% that a certain Mr. Frost was referring to a little while ago. Thank you very much. Well, 
much needed break there for Sarin. Yeah. And what you can hear all the clapping in the background is uh, Juliana Schenk is part, and she's got match point 2015 yes, against okay. one of the Chinese favorites in the ladies singles and here it comes no she missed it to a mesmeric point this <laughs> yeah the Indonesian pair quite happy to defend <laughs> well it was well left mm. so it's over 1913 Then the lead here for Jahari and Gracia Bali. It's going out, yes, well left. 20, game point, 13. So first game goes the way of the number Just eight seeds and after a fairly tight beginning in the second half of that game, they just rolled away 21-13. And I can tell you on an adjacent court, Juliana Schenk is on her knees. The German has just knocked out the number four seed, Jian Yanjiao of China. That's a big scout for her. And, uh, another shot in these World Championships, Morton. Yes, another shot defeated by the Chinese team. And it just shows that they're, after all, all human. See how Yao lay there, she's got the strapping. I think that's for tendinitis, isn't it, on the arms? And she's got a, a also on her, on her thigh, I think she's also got a bit of strapping as well. Always a worry when you see someone bandaged up as much as that. Yeah, totally strapped. I mean, quite common to have tendinitis, isn't it? I suppose it is. it's just something you learn to pay with. Yeah. You, learn, you learn to live with the pain. Yeah. Taking through uh, the first round against uh, Ms. Lova and Sorokina. Second game. So halfway to victory here, Gracia Polly and Liliana Johari. <laughs> so Shinta Mulli and Yale were the favourites uh, to win gold at the Commonwealth Games, but they were beaten by Ponapar and Joala Gutter, who have shown again this week there up for the big stage. That's again, it's, it might not look of much, but what Juhari is uh, doing here is, is really good. That one where she can actually play a little angle to it and place it on the other side of the body is really very, very good. Three, 
up. It's interesting how it happens in Denmark. Yao Lei was actually, uh, she's born in China, wasn't it? And her parents both played for China. Mm. Yet, yeah. uh, she and yes, is. she's playing for Singapore. Yeah, there yeah, she is. Yeah. You have to live there a certain amount of years, I take it. She's been there for seven or eight years now. Yes, they usually so, come to Singapore at the age one, of uh, three. 11, 12, 13 years of age and then uh, stop having the badminton upbringing in Singapore and then eventually goes on to the international team. And Sarah Shintamulia, she was born in Indonesia. <laughs> She is facing them. Yep. Serves over. Four, one. Here it's gone off to a very good start. Five one up. From Gracia Polly, was it? <laughs> they mix it up so nicely, but when they decide they're going to attack, yes, they, they have they have the force. We've seen a couple of smashes at over 200. I'm actually sitting here thinking, uh, and uh, possibly a little bit embarrassed, but I I don't know how the Indonesian pair has done against uh, you know the better Chinese combinations Seven, because I actually think. They have a lot of things going for them so if they are prepared to to work and, and go the distance they they have the defense they have the attack they can do many things and uh, and we know obviously that china in the ladies doubles is, is such a force but i think the indonesian pair has a lot of things going for them well they defeated wong and chin in the first round of the all england last year yeah that's malaysia isn't it the malaysia yes yes yeah. quite right yeah, yeah. But that's a good pair. So yeah. That's a good pair. Eight, two. Nine, two. Well, it's uh, turning into be a fairly comfortable ride here for. Jahari and Polly. Yeah. Rather one sided. Yeah, rather surprisingly, really. I mean, they're perfectly in formation. They want Gracie or Polly there at the back, you know, Ten, using her power. Two. And Jahari there across the front of the court. And they're not getting them out of position at all, really, are they? The no. Singapore pet. Losing well, half a bit. Yeah. I well, know it's easy to say after the event, but I saw this at the interval last time at the uh, after the first set. You know, these two were bouncing around, very animated, and you, you learned, looked at you know Sari and Yao, and there wasn't really much being said. It was pretty quiet over there. They were listening. And but I, I think it's a very healthy sign when you know when the players are going in into the discussion or into the debate of, of what to do because that means that they are very alert and they're into it rather than say okay this is what we're going to do told by the coach and then they just go out from the courts so i i kind of like that uh, you you know you have this little debate about what what to do next 
I don't think Yao Lei has actually said anything at all in, in the discussion that's going on her side of the court. coming into this match that if they did make it through to the next round that they play a, a Japanese bear because the number three sees made and so it sooner we're taking on Misaki and Takahashi that went to three sets the favorites though did go through in the end but you could Five, see the way you, know, you could see Gracia Poli and Miliana Johari going uh, quite a way I know obviously it's gonna be a tough test against the Japanese to start with but oh, yes they, they will have a long, long match. But, but mind you, again, Japan has really improved, and they have three or four pairs in the top six, seven, eight, or something like that. Yeah, they do. So uh, Japan is improving, and I think this pair is, is, is up there somewhere. And that's, you know, when I look at it and how they play and all that. So I was kind of interested to see. Um, but the fact that they haven't won, they've reached three semifinals this year, a beaten finals three times in 2010. Yeah. There's obviously... The, uh, they seem to be able to get so far and then and then uh, that's it yeah yeah but you, so you're maybe right on that but still it, it shows that 14. you know they are they're up there somewhere yep I mean, as I say it's, it's still a fairly new partnership mm -hmm. in those so they they have still maybe a lot of things to learn I mean they're both very experienced players though since you know before they came together of course the Indonesians decided to you know, really shake things up as far as their doubles pairings were concerned. Yeah. So everyone kind of got a new partner. So, so 15, six. Uh, sometimes, sometimes necessary because you, you know, they, you're getting stale somehow. You're not moving. Nothing is happening, and you you need to have uh, new inspiration. Well, maybe, and uh, as a partnership for the first time in the World Championships. Shahari and Polly are going to make a statement. 16 6. Certainly brushing aside the number 16 seeds here. Yeah, my statistics of the day is ruined because this is going to be quicker than one hour. <laughs> Say Jahari really played some fabulous shots there, but uh, she got caught off balance. 
Really neat play. And then cross now. And then that's one. But the point went in the way of the uh, Singapore bear in the end, thanks to Yao's deft little touch. Just given Juliana Schenk's victory, it's been a, it's been a pretty good World Championships for Europe, hasn't it? As, yes, as so far, home. so far it's been uh, really okay. There will be um, quite a number uh, of, of entries into the uh, quarterfinals coming up tomorrow. A little too eager there, Jahari to Nine, close 17. the deal. flicks it's like let's see what you got yes it is I'm testing you can you do better than this <laughs> <laughs> like, you kind of want to play these shots I suppose you can when you're one game up in 17 10 up they're down but they're certainly not going out no I don't think so but shows their commitment over that 200 mark for him. Sorry there. Not enough 17. pressure on that return of surf, giving Yao a very good chance of driving it past. Comes out. So, so far. 18-11. So uh, just two more points required now for Zahari and Polly. Too many of those. Mm. It's kind of like 
delaying the inevitable in some respect. I suppose, well, there's hope, there's a way. So match points. 20, match point 13. Uh, a lot simpler than I think that they and I was expecting. But uh, well played, Gracie Apolli and Mediana Jahari. That was a very good performance. 21 13, 21 13. Every reason for a smile or two. Match one by Mediana Jahari and Gracie Apolli in Asia. 21 13, 21 13. More disappointment in this uh, calendar year for Sarah Shinta Malia and Yaole after the promise of 2010. They say goodbye to the championships. High fives in the Indonesian camp. So next up for them is the quarterfinals against Miyuki Maeda and Satoko Suetsuna of Japan, the number three seeds coming through against their compatriots early today, although it took three sets to do so. And an hour and a half. Yeah, and another tough match coming <laughs> up for them, it would seem, after the way the Indonesian player played here this evening on the main court in the Wembley Indoor Indoor Arena. Jahari and Polly very comfortably through. <laughs> 